Namaste, Om Namah Shivai. Welcome to yet another episode of Pramona. I'm again in the lap of nature, very close to where I live. It's such a blessing to be here in this part of the city. It's really in part of the city, if you can believe it. And yet, here I am sitting in the middle of this beautiful creek with the flowing water, the sound of water, in a very zen-like atmosphere. Quiet, peaceful, serene. And it started me thinking about spirituality, about what is spirituality. You talk to different people and you get different answers on what they mean or understand by spirituality. The fact of the matter is that a predominant super majority of people are clueless about spirituality because they are living in ignorance and they are living in darkness. They are oblivious to everything that is around them. Something like this, which is extremely spiritual, is something that they do not observe, they do not understand, they do not recognize. Yet, this is spirituality. The flowing water, the rustling of the leaves, the cool wind, the sun shining in the morning, the beautiful blue sky, the trees going up into the sky, nature at its best. This is peace. This is satchitana. This is spirituality. But coming back to really understanding from my perspective, what I understand as spirituality, if you just use the word spirituality and think of the word or bring out the word spirit, what is the spirit? Because spirituality has to do with one's spirit. Spirit is one's true nature, Sobhav. It's who we are. So before we can embark on the journey of spirituality or part of the journey of spirituality is to discover yourself, to know who you are, to find your true self, and then you start resonating with that true self and wherever you are, whatever environment you are in, with the people that you interact with, where you spend your time, what you do, your 24 seven lifestyle is what resonates with your true self and that is spirituality to be in touch with your own spirit because that spirit is a reflection of the higher self of the consciousness itself of which we are a part and if you can discuss discover that and if you can pinpoint what that is then you are connected to the consciousness and what better realization than that to be able to do that. We will continue this as we go along on the beautiful journey to this forest full of nature, full of flowing water, full of beautiful sounds, birds, and wonderful, beautiful trees. One of the main confusing things is to understand the difference between religion and spirituality. People are so confused and people so misunderstand what is religion, what is spirituality. And again, majority of them understand religion to be spirituality itself, when in fact it's not. Not only is it not, it's exactly the opposite. And in fact, it takes away, it takes you away from your spirit, from your spirituality. Religion is all about blind faith. It's all about blind following. It's all about the herd mentality of doing what someone else is telling you, what someone else is doing, following that as opposed to your own subhav, your own true nature, your own true self, which I said is the spirit. And you follow that spirit you follow that intuition, you follow that sense, and that takes you on the path of spirituality. So to really 
believe that religion is spirituality is such a misnomer, is such a fallacy. People spend so much time and effort and money to go to churches and temples and uh, uh, mosques and other places of religion and worship and uh, yet they are not able to show anything out of that because it's nothing there's nothing over there it's just a piece of structure it's just a piece of stone that has been put together there's no spirit there there are very few places that really resonate with that spirit that i'm talking about there are these places all around the world the places of energy the places of spirit that have been imbibed over centuries, over thousands of years, they are full of energy. And that energy will talk to you, will resonate with you, will synchronize with your own spirit. When you get there, when you arrive there, when you are there in that space, you immediately feel something different. You immediately feel like a certain peace descending on you. You feel like something is just so vibrant, full of life, full of energy, because you're right in, with the life force, with chi, with chi, with pran, that's where you are, that is spirituality. So coming back to nature, which is where we are right now, you just have to sit here, you just have to observe, you just have to follow, you just have to share, you just have to imbibe. This is spirituality because the trees and the leaves and the water and the sea and everything around here have their own spirit. They have not been conditioned like the human mind. They have not been corrupted by the, like the human mind. They are true to their self. What they are meant for is what they do. And when you arrive and you spend time in a place like this, your own spirit starts to open up and bloom and it starts to resonate with nature. And what better place than nature to find your own spirit and your own spirituality. We'll continue. So continuing our journey of understanding what is spirituality, one way to understand that is perhaps the way I have understood in life is what is not spirituality. The principle of na naiti, 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 naiti. Spirituality is not sitting cross-legged in so-called meditation for hours or for 30 minutes or one hour or two hours or whatever it is. Spirituality is not doing or as practicing yoga, whether it is for one hour, half an hour, different poses, acrobatics, it is not yoga. Spirituality is not reading spiritual books for hours of all kinds, from all teachers, from all masters, from all authors. Spirituality is not living in ashrams. Spirituality is not going away and living and spending time in the mountains. Spirituality is not about being a vegetarian. Spirituality is not about going to the temples and to the mosque and to the churches. Spirituality is about awareness, consciousness. Spirituality is to live your life 24-7 all the time with awareness, with full realization of who you are, your self-awareness, your spirit, to know your true self, which is connecting you to the consciousness and that awareness has to remain with you, has to be with you in your spirit, in your essence, all the time, 24-7. Not for a moment, not for a second, not for a single breath do you forget that you are part of the super consciousness and that is spirituality. It does not matter what you're doing, it does not matter what activity you're performing, from morning to night, and even in the deep state of sleep, even in the dream state, you're spiritual, so long as you have that awareness in yourself all the time of what you are doing, who you are, what your true self is. 
whether you're eating, whether you're sleeping, whether you're cutting, chopping vegetables, cooking, hosting, entertaining, watching a movie, driving, no matter what activity you're doing, you're doing it with awareness, complete awareness, complete realization. That is spirituality. We will continue. So to continue on our journey of understanding spirituality, I want to share some of my experiences on my journey. We started approximately about 20 years ago and in the beginning it was like for most people I believe spending time in different locations, in different monasteries, in different ashrams, in different centers, in different schools, with different masters, teachers, yogis of all kinds in different countries hoping to find that answer whatever the answer, whatever the question was. And I did that as well. I also was a voracious reader. I built up a huge library of spiritual, philosophical books from all different traditions and cultures. And it was the Jnana Yoga path of spirituality, which turned out to be also not entirely fulfilling. I attended many workshops, I attended a lot of classes with a lot of teachers online, in person, all over the world and spent a lot of time and money following and pursuing this journey of spirituality. And yet, I was not getting any fulfillment, I was not getting the answer to the core question, who am I? Now. You might say, oh, you could have just picked up Ramana Maharshi's book, Who Am I? And that would give you the answer. I did that. But yet it did not give me the answer. The answer did not resonate by reading the book. And then I met my teacher, Ramesh Balsikar, which itself is a separate story, which I will relay in some other recording. And right on the first day itself, at his feet, after his first satsang, his first discourse, where I was sitting on the hot seat, and he said it, that I am not the doer. The concept of advaitya, non-dual, non-dualship, non-duality, non-doership. And it sank in like something that hit me as a bolt of lightning. The same concept, the same understanding, the same answer that was buried in Ramana Maharshi's book and whose lineage Ramesh Balsika was following through Nisargat Maharaj, but it did not sink in by reading the book. It happened at Ramesh Balsika's feet. And thereafter, all the questions dropped. Everything disappeared. No more questions. Every practice, all the routine, all the rituals, they just disappeared because I had the answer. And I felt the connection with the consciousness, with the higher Supreme Self. I had discovered myself. That burden of doership had gone away from my shoulders. I was a free bird. I was soaring high. Ramesh Palsikar had shown me the true way. He had given me the answer in his own baby-like way of explaining things again and again and again the same thing repeatedly you go to him every day and it's exactly the same message that you would say and you would never get tired of hearing it because you were hearing your own self you were hearing your own spirit you are on truly on the path of spirituality and this is where it dawned on me that even though Krishna has said in the Gita that there are different paths of getting to him, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Hatha Yoga, but ultimately it is truly knowing yourself. People are at different evolutions, people are at different stages, and there's a different path for everyone. And if that path resonates with them for discovering themselves and thereby connecting with the higher self, that is wonderful. 
unfortunately what happens is most people follow a path and make it an end by itself. It's not an end by itself. Just practicing yoga for one hour every day is not an end by itself. Sitting in meditation cross-legged for half an hour, one hour, two hours, or even three hours is not an end itself. Chanting for hours, japa, doing malas, all day long, all week long is not an end by itself. If it does not help you to discover and know who you are. These are props that have been given to us to help us to get and rise higher. Ultimately, it is about discovering your spirit and thereby connecting to the consciousness which can only happen from inside you, not from outside.